I don't think she ever got over it, but finally she got the definition straightened out and she relaxed a few years before she finally bit the dust after reading the scriptures that she didn't like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must do amazing grace to uh, ask forgiveness for telling you that story about the poor Baptists that were upset by the condiments. And <laughs> I was sitting at the willows with Auntie Bahili Ali'i Kubahili Opiupua and I was sitting there and this breeze came flowing through all those grass roofs you know at the willows across those pools and a voice said to me audibly in the breeze go to the bishop museum i said poor you'll never guess what happened i said this breeze came in this voice spoke. she says we got to go right now so we finished up at the willows went up to the bishop museum and reverend david kaupu's wife was on the ticket desk there and she waved us in aloha style we never have to pay no tell up bishop museum but anyway, I'm thinking, why are we here? So we were up on the, the higher floor there, and there was a window kind of high up there at the, at the museum, and all of a sudden this breeze came blowing through the window, and I turned around, and there was Reverend David Kaupu, who was the chaplain of Kamehameha Schools. I said, Reverend Kaupu, so great to see you. Uh, oh, I'm so glad you're here, because my mother wants me to record Amazing Grace, but I want to do it in Hawaiian, so I need a Hawaiian translation. He says, there's not one. <laughs> Not a Hawaiian translation of Amazing Grace? He says, no, there's not. I says, my gosh, I'm so surprised. He says, but I will do one for you. So that's how Amazing Grace got translated into Hawaiian because my mother wanted me to record it. And the breeze told me to go to Bishop Museum. Reverend Kupu must have been listening to the same breeze, so here it is.